Number 11. Mandolin Moth Let's start with the mandolin moth. So, is this a moth that resembles the musical instrument, the mandolin? Well, sort of. Like many other species, the male mandolin moth has a very specific way it attracts potential mates, and it's actually quite lovely. This insect has been romantically dubbed the mandolin moth by scientists because the male serenades the female when it's time to get busy. Their bodies really do slightly resemble a mandolin too. The hind wings of the male moth are concave instead of flat, just like the instrument. One of the veins in the wing has a knot in it, which the male scratches with his hind leg to produce a song. The tune that is played with this motion is said to be beautiful. As part of the courtship ritual, the male gracefully plays the tune to his mate to impress her. Aw, how cute! Number 10. Death's Head Hawk Moth If you want to do a Hannibal Lecter quote, now would be the appropriate time to do it. If you recall the legendary poster for the classic horror movie, The Silence of the Lambs, you might remember that there's a moth on that poster, one that looks like it has a skull on its body. This is the Death's Head Hawk Moth, and it's one of three different moth species that have this unique mark. It really does look like a human skull from a distance, and even up close. It's larger than your average moth too, with its 5-inch wingspan, and it's one of the biggest moths in the world. But let's get back to that creepy skull. Noted for the human skull on its thorax, the moth has been surrounded by superstition and fear for quite some time, which is related both to the sinister marking and the moth's ability to emit a weird, loud chirp if agitated. Aside from being featured in The Silence of the Lambs, the moth has appeared in other media too, including Edgar Allan Poe's short story Sphinx and Bram Stoker's Dracula. Number 9. Brahmin Moth There are a lot of moth and butterfly species that have common patterns. The Brahmin moth is native to Southeast Asia. It has a wingspan that can reach up to almost 4 inches in length. It has large wings that display an array of beautiful patterns, dots, circles, and colors and stripes. The pattern sort of looks like a face of sorts, as the middle parts of the wings have sockets that look like eyes, and you could argue that it even has a mustache underneath them. The Brahmin moth is considered to be one of the weirdest moth species on the planet. I mean, even the caterpillar of this moth species is bizarre. Just as weird as what it does during the daytime, the Brahmin moths are nocturnal, meaning they'll go out and fly and get food during the nighttime. But when the sun is up, it'll perch itself on the body of a tree and then spread out its wings. And just stay there. Wouldn't that leave it open to predators? The answer is yes, but it has a defense mechanism. Not only does it have its pattern, which like other moths and butterflies will scare away certain creatures, but if that doesn't work and something approaches, it'll shake violently. To be clear, it won't fly away from danger, it'll just make the danger think it's not worth the effort. Kinda cool. Number 8. Lunar Moth The Lunar Moth looks nothing like other moths. Some say moths are the dirty version of butterflies in terms of their color scheme. But the lunar moth is a beautiful and shimmering shade of green. It also has a wingspan that at times can reach over 7 inches end to end. The lunar moth also doesn't have a mouth. So how does it eat? Well, it doesn't. In fact, if you look at the lifespan of the lunar moth, you'll find that it only lives for a week when it enters adulthood. The energy it gets is from the fat stores that it made while it was a caterpillar. So why does it only live a week? That's because it only has one job to reproduce. Certain species only make about one to three generations per year, so their adult lives are literally just focused on making the next generation and then dying. Woof, at least they don't have to worry about savings. Number 7. Carnivorous Caterpillars Ever heard of killer moths? No? What about killer caterpillars? There's a species of moth that is incredibly deadly when they're in their caterpillar state. So much so that they are carnivorous and don't eat leaves and other greens, like most other caterpillars do. A great example comes from species that are in Hawaii. Typically, the caterpillars have small claws that are meant to chop up leaves so that they can eat. But in these Hawaiian species, they're more like knives. They'll use them to kill flies that are nearby or other small insects. They'll do this by blending in with a leaf and making itself look like a twig. The insect will come along and it'll ambush them. Just as crazy and disgusting are the species known as Hyposmacoma molluscavora, which is also a moth species from Hawaii. What this one does though is more ravenous. It'll go after snails and trap them in silk threads. Then it'll dive into the snail's shells and eat them alive. 
Oof, does this freak you out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Midget Moths As the saying goes, things come in all shapes and sizes. And as for the midget moths, they are incredibly weird and extremely small, and they're found all over the world. Just how small are they? They would fit on the tip of your pencil, barely. Their wingspans can be as little as 3 millimeters. That is incredibly small. Though, to be fair, there are some variations of the moth that can get up to 10 millimeters, but that's still a very small moth. Not surprisingly, these moths make their way by being miners. Typically, they mine through leaves, but other species go after seeds or the barks of certain trees. As if that wasn't enough, there are species that has a host plant where they typically live and mine the leaves of. One of these moths is known as the pectin of Alphenae, which are found here in Australia. They live in the area of certain key tree families and mine their leaves over time. There is also a belief that because of their size, some of these species await true discovery and study. More moth mysteries! Number 5. Vampire Moth the vampire moth, which is not to be confused with the Japanese movie Vampire Moth, might at first sound like an exaggeration of the vampire legend, as there are various animals out there that bear the vampire name but aren't exactly like the vampires of myth. But what makes the vampire moth so crazy is the fact that for the most part, it does live up to the legend. In this case, yes, it's a creature that sucks other creatures' blood, not unlike the infamous vampire bat. The difference is that the bat vampire isn't known to suck the blood of humans. But the vampire moth absolutely will, if given the opportunity, as it has the ability to pierce the skin of animals and humans. Just as important is that they can pierce the skin of rather thick-skinned animals too, like buffalo. But creepily, once the moth is in the victim, the very blood pressure of its prey makes it so the mouth extensions can't easily be shaken off. Fear not though, even with its blood-sucking ability, it can't seriously harm or kill a human, or a major animal for that matter. If a human's bitten by these moths, the spotted bit may turn a bit red and be sore for a few hours, leaving an itchy rash. But that's it. And as if all of that isn't enough on a creep factor, the vampire moth apparently has the ability to suck the tears out of the eyelids of certain animals like cattle. Gross! Number 4. Hummingbird Hawk Moth the hummingbird hawk moth is a very curious creature for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is that yes, the moth in question is named after the hummingbird, mainly because it does a lot of the same things and even resembles the famous bird. For example, the hummingbird bird is known to flap its wings incredibly fast in order to stay afloat and fly. The hummingbird hawk moth does the same thing. The hummingbird, the bird, is also known to feed on the nectar of flowers because of its massively thin nose, and so does the hummingbird hawk moth. The resemblance has been defined as convergent evolution, where two different species have very different ancestors but are somehow able to resemble one another in their looks and abilities. It's said that the hummingbird hawk moth is a symbol of good luck, as a swarm of these moths was found in key events in history where a bunch of great things happened. I don't know about you, but I'm going to keep an eye out. Number 3. Heterogynous Panella Some animals are known to eat their own in order to survive, but the moth species known as Heterogynous Panella have a very crazy way of doing it that isn't for the faint of heart. Typically, the females of an insect species will lay eggs of some kind for their young to be born, but not with the Heterogynous Panella. They literally have their children inside of them right after mating. The females will be born from a cocoon and then they'll stay close enough to it so that they can mate with the males. Then, they'll return to the cocoon, and once the children are born, the children eat their mother. Why? It's so that they can be rich in fat when they grow and start truly living their lives. The mother is literally sacrificing herself so that the children can live as long as is necessary. Aw, oh, isn't nature beautiful and gross? Number 2. Atlas Moth The Atlas Moth is massive! For a moth, it has a wingspan of about 10 inches, and that's just the start. These moths are so big that it's said they look like bats in flight and are often mistaken for them. Though if you look closely, while their wings are very large, their bodies are much smaller in comparison, which is typically not how it's supposed to go. Furthermore, not unlike a previous moth species, once they're adults, they don't eat. With a lifespan of about one to two weeks, they take a risk with every flight they take as it drains their fat stores from the previous phases of their lives. 
Some females are known not to fly at all and just wait for the males to find them so that they can mate. Just as odd, their cocoons are so large that they're used as purses in Taiwan. Number 1. Hornet Moth There are certain animals in the world that imitate others in order to stay alive. You might know of this from animals that mimic sounds or gestures in order to scare off predators, but in the case of the hornet moth, it takes mimicry to a level that is both weird but also an art form. Because, as the name suggests, it goes and mimics a hornet, but if you look at it and see how it acts, it doesn't just resemble it, it basically becomes it in a whole bunch of ways. The size of the moth is the same as the hornet, the colouring of its hair makes it look like a hornet, and finally, it has a flight pattern that makes it move like a hornet. All of this is to fool predators into thinking it's something it's not, and thus they won't mess with it. The funny thing is that it couldn't hurt them if it wanted to, because this is a completely harmless moth. It's just dolled itself up to make itself seem fierce. This is known as Batesian mimicry, and it's quite effective. Thanks for watching. Which of these moth species did you feel was the craziest of the bunch? And do you know of another crazy moth that we should know about? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Bye!